This stone is coming like a ghost stone. This is the original rubber I never staple from the specials. And I'm Sugary Staple. I'm Sledge, bass player. I'm Billy Shinbone and I play electric guitar. My name's Matty Bain and I'm the drummer. This is Joe and I play the keyboards. I'm Drew Stansel, saxophone player. I'm Peter, I play trombone. Hi, I'm Sugary Staple. So let's talk a little bit about the tour. So 40 years ago, Ghost Town, Neville, I mean, you know, you, you led on that song. You were the, the iconic front man of the song, among others. But that one really stood out. And a lot of the fans remember you for, for it. Obviously, it was a massive hit. Excellent song. So how does it feel about doing a Ghost Town tour for like 40 years on? It's actually a bit more than that. But that's because we've lost a year or two, haven't we? Yes, we have. And uh, doing this tour, 40 years tour, it brings back to a lot of memory. I know it's old, but you know. Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> that means a lot to me. And I, I guess that's why we ended up producing together a brand new version of Ghost Town. Same song, obviously, but an up to date version with some special extended mixes at the end i mean i absolutely love it it's my favorite thing of the new album that 12 inch version um and doing that 12 inch version right uh, i've got the rest of the guys didn't we uh, we introduced them what they played we just wanted it to be different the ghost town tour let's do our own version and we've done it I'm so pleased with it, aren't It's we? a super anniversary mix because now, I mean, there's a couple of other mixes that you've done over the years, but that for me is the one that stands out. I just absolutely adore it. Um, and um, it was nice to hear some of the other ex-members give it a thumbs up. I won't name who they are, but um, they adored it too. So that was great. When Ghost Town was first recorded, I was living in South East London. Bastard dog. When Ghost Town came out, I was just 12 and I bought it in Woolworths and it had the picture sleeve and the lyrics on the back. In 1981, when the specials were at number one with Ghost Town, I was a 13 year old kid still at school. When Ghost Town first came out, I wasn't around. I was born in 1995. However, my dad was a big fan of the specials. He went to see them live. Um, and I remember growing up in the house listening to special streams, Ghost Town, Message to You, Rudy, which is obviously a big influence on me, thanks to Rico Rodriguez, trombone solo in that. Um, first time I heard Ghost Town, I was nine years old, saw the video, it must have been Top of the Pops. When Ghost Town came out, I was 11, and I was in my final year of primary school. Um, we had an end of, end of term disco, and we were all there, all, me and all my mates were there with crew cuts, braces, rolled up jeans. And I seem to remember I had a pair of brown Clark's loafers. So, and we all had loads of two-tone and mod lapel badges. So yeah, that's where I was at when Ghost Town came out. I also remember listening to a lot of uh, special stuff when I was coming up through school, when we were doing GCSE music and then A-level music and A-level music tech. Uh, Ghost Town was definitely one of the songs we looked at, as well as uh, things like Monkey Man. This one's dedicated to all the bouncers. Big, big Monkey, Monkey Man! Man. <laughs> and Nightclub, big part of me growing up and kind of especially around the house and at school, big part of my kind of musical education. You obviously, no matter what happens over the years, you always insist on doing all the classics and the hits in the set list. I know we throw in some of our new songs here and there and I'm really honoured to be part of this two-tone movement with you all these years on. And why do you still do those all the time? So where we have our dog? Pick your baby ring. Pick your nine on cool. Cause I'm shot diggy boogie. I'm shot diggy boogie. I'm doing those songs. Uh, I mean, when you're doing the gig, at the gigs doing those songs, the fans, they want you to do the old songs. They want to hear the old classics. And that's why we do the old classic, because when, when we're doing it, we, um, we get crowds saying, oh, dude, let's hear this one, let's hear that one. And that's all from the 
first album or second album. Yeah, yeah, I, I noticed that. It's mostly the ones that they scream out for from the first album and the first singles, of, of course, all yeah, the singles yeah. as well, mm. right up to um, Ghost Town. And you're right, there was a lot of us back then. I mean, you were my pin-up. Ah, it was my pin-up. Um, and then I met you th about 30 years later. But the thing is... Um, Back then, there was a lot of us, we were just about on the cusp of our teen years, or we were young teens, so we couldn't get into some of the shows. There were some p places where they didn't get, get a ticket, you go in. Yeah, but at the same time though, we used to let people in. I know you did. <laughs> I know you did. So I love the fact that now, people that couldn't see you back then, since the anniversary touring, they can. And you've always done this anyway so a lot of fans are grateful but I love that fact as well unfortunately I never got to see the specials the first time around but I did manage to see them live in 2009 on their reunion tour and Brixton Academy it's a great gig first time I saw the specials uh, well it was 2009 I'd been playing with Neville for a few years by then but when he, when they reformed I saw them at the Brixton Academy uh, fantastic gig it was too the first time I saw the specials, in the mid-90s, when they were the 90s specials. Unfortunately, I was too young to see the specials when they toured, back in the um, 80s. Um, they did play my hometown of Swindon, and they played the Oasis Leisure Centre, and my older sister went, and it was fantastic, and two-tone was big in our town. So it must be amazing now, I know, I feel it with you, um, that people not only love those classic hits and songs, but they love all the new stuff that we throw in here and there. We put a few in each time well, that's and they good. love it. Yeah, that's good because um, it's not just the old stuff. Uh, we've been working on new stuff. We've got um, two, three new albums. Party people, listen up! Let's all go and celebrate. We got a date, let's stay out late. It's party time. So we just throw some of the new stuff in with the classics yeah. because they want to hear that. Favourite song of mine that we play in our current set is probably Nightclub. It's really good fun. It's a really high energy piece of music. Gets the crowd going. They love it. Um, and some really good stuff for me to play in there as well. The song I particularly enjoy playing live with Neville is Too Hot because I love the Prince Buster original. I love the specials version and I love the kind of rock steady groove of the whole thing and it's just a really enjoyable song to play. Why? I'm going to leave that to you, you know, because it's too hot. Um, my favourite song for playing live is the Skinhead Symphony. It's quite near the end of the set, everyone's going wild. It's just such fun to play. Always a good one to play the Skinhead Symphony. Yeah. Uh, my favourite special song to play is Nightclub. Um, just because it's a great tune and it has some great brass lines and Ghost Town, obviously. One of my favourites is Nightclub. I absolutely love doing it. Love the song. The fans love it. Oh, amazing. I'm glad it's in the set again. My favourite song to play with the band is, well, it's either Pressure Drop or it could be Nightclub because we haven't been doing that one for so long and it's really nice and fresh. And yeah, it could be a nightclub because there's so much going on. It goes backwards and forwards and in all directions and it's quiet and loud and it's got a good groove and it's just really good fun to play. That's a tough one because um, it changes. I think the most prominent one for me has always been Pressure Drop. Before I even joined the band, when I was learning the set, that was the song that stuck in my head. Um, as for special songs, I think... Putting nightclub back in the set, that's what's really livened it up for me. A little bit of bass in there, you know what I mean? You understand? You get me? All right, Liz. No matter Dali dog on the nightclub, come make we go boss it. Boss it! <laughs> um, so, Nev, a lot of people, a lot of fans have been in touch with different questions. And one of the main ones that always comes up to do a ghost town is where it was filmed. Obviously, I know. Um, but tell them, where was it filmed, the video for Ghost Town, in the car? Of, a lot of people think it was filmed in Coventry. Well, surprisingly, it wasn't. It was filmed in London. And you know where? Yep, Cheapside, all around the city of London. 
And didn't you say it was about four or five in the morning? It was that time. It was that time. Yeah, so it was just, just waiting up. Quiet. <laughs> yeah, so that early in the morning. Well, that's the only way you'd be able to do it in London. That's when they do a lot of filming in London yeah. in the early hours. And it will look like evening, even though it's like morning, about four or five a.m. But I'm always asked, where was it filmed? Was it filmed in Birmingham, Coventry? Mainly, I, um, I get asked if it's filmed in Coventry. The other thing that a lot of the fans have been asking about Ghost Town is, did you all, those that can drive, did you all drive the car, Conic car that it, that's now in the two-tone, um, at the two-tone village in the Coventry Music Museum. That's where the original car is. You need to go and see it if you haven't seen it. You can sit in it, you can have photos in it. There's all kinds of information and stuff around it and lovely visuals and lots of other stuff in the museum. But get there if you can, go and see it. But did you all have a go? Did you all sort of go a bit nuts driving around London that day? Uh, maybe I did. You wanted to race it around the city of London and um, they wouldn't let you? I would have loved to have done that. I would have loved yeah, to. Yeah, it's a shame you did. <laughs> so you all managed to drive it, those that were allowed to drive it? Well, we all had a go. Yeah. Okay, and then you're all very squashed in there. So did it get a bit smelly in there? I bet it did. No, it didn't. <laughs> no, it didn't. No, all them men no. squashed in one car. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> See you on the Ghost Town Tour. So if you haven't got your tickets yet, grab them. Soon as you can.